what's up you guys this is Rob from a gay guy plays and today on dress to kill we're gonna be taking a look at my customizations for the Ivara yokai and the Arquata skin now this has been a little bit of a long time coming mainly because there were some issues with texture and whatnot that's been going on with Ivara skins so I kind of wanted to go ahead and show you because they've like halfway fixed it apparently um so I was actually talking with Hitsusan and he was saying that basically the body of the yokai skin is looking right looking tight however uh, the helmet portion is looking a little bit off when it comes to its texture so let's go ahead and take a look at what he's talking about so as we can see right here we have the yokai skin loaded up and this is my current customization for it um, so if you can actually take a look, the body texture is a little bit lighter and you get a little bit more depth on it than you do with the helmet And I think that's what he was talking about because the texture definitely looks different from the helmet to the body The coloration looks to be a little bit off One of the things that you will also notice too is that these colorable parts or these parts right here that are uncolorable Last time were like this weird periwinkly purple um, color and I don't know if that was just on the insides of the ship, but now they are much more workable like um, Dark gray so you can still see the texture in them I think it goes a lot better uh, With more frames than it did previous to this So if you were thinking about the yokai armor and kind of were a little bit put off with that weird periwinkle Customization at least you can know now exactly what's going on now with the yokai skin I've actually found that like these really really nice soft matte um, grays work really really well on it and now with the new textural change I'm finding that I can use a lot more mid-tone colors and not really get hit with it too much now as you can see one of the things that I'm doing right here is I'm kind of showing you the skin naked um, mainly because of the fact that I wanted to show you it as is but honestly my sec the it's it's my b slot that i'm really like really fond of however i think that this is a really pretty customization mainly because i don't do any kind of like i don't do too many like blue like powder blue energy colors at least from my rec recollection usually i like to go for like the pinkier or brownier colors um but yeah so that's kind of like this yokai skin just straight out of the gate with no additional things to it now there's a lot of customization that you can do with it to make it really pop and i am super super fond so this is actually my b slot right here so you can tell that this has got a little bit more extra bits on it i'm actually gonna back out let's see if we can get rid of that uh nami solo from distracting us from the beauty of it but just look at that motherfucking silhouette tell me that is not so sick um i really actually wanted to do a green look because i haven't done too many green looks on warframes and i figured avara is supposed to be like you know themed after the poison frog she's supposed to be like um all exotic and weird and shit and i was like you know what let's let's give her a shot and i think it actually works really really nicely on her i really like the zephyr stance on her with all of the little extra accoutrements and as you can see i've actually um taken out one of these shoulder pieces uh because i almost kind of like having her have one bare arm and have everything loaded onto this arm. I think that's kind of cool and different. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do a lighter combination on her this time around. Um, mainly because of the fact, you know, you do one dark, you do one light. And that is that one right there. Um, but there's so many different color combinations that you can really get at with her. Um, the only thing that I do have to say is this area right here, which I believe we're looking at, we're looking at right now. Was it this one? Was, I think it was this one. The, um, secondary picks up colors really intensely. So just note that when you're, um, when you're doing, you know, when you're doing your customizations that that color, you're going to have to go a little bit deeper with than normal because it really, 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 really pops. Even this deep dark color right here, um, it looks a lot brighter on her and i mean i'm not gonna hate on it because it looks like almost like a matte metallic which i'm really really into so i think i showed you this one already and then um we go ahead and go into this one i've been playing around with things i've also noticed that one of the things with the skin is that the metallics on it really really pop so we've got like two little sections that pop a little bit too much so the normal rose gold is a little bit out of the question for me mainly because of the fact that it's just like it's just like too in your face i've had to like take it down a notch to make sure to go with the customizations um and last but not least is the energy color so all in all the yokai skin especially after the textual update i'm gonna say you guys if you haven't picked it up already and you're a fan of vara this is definitely like a must you gotta get this one it's got some really nice texturing on the um quilting right there i really really love that it's kind of reminiscent of faven big fan um the butt is definitely accentuated she got she got she got a nice little tuchus 
took us right up in there. And um, the changes to the texture right in this middle, the uncolorable areas, um, make her a lot easier to work with now than she was before. Now, we're gonna have a little bit of a departure. Cause you know we had like, you know, Avara was soft and she's that soft matte gray and now she's like this forest nymph. We're gonna go in the complete opposite direction with the Arcuta skin, which I'm pretty sure that I'm not even pronouncing really well. Um, I looked at her again and the big thing for me, actually let me go ahead, G get out of here Nami Soul, you're ruining everything for everyone. Um, but what I've actually noticed, and let's let's swap her into the Zephyr, the Zephyr stance, just, just so that... Uh, she looks a little bit more normal and get the Nami Solo back out of here. It, it just refuses. It's like, hey, listen, I finally got a stance that we can use and enjoy. But I'm trying to give a fair comparison. So one of the things that I love about this skin is that it merges some of the energy colors quite well. So you can actually see how it gradiates in to the palms. And I was like, you know what? That Ember skin just came out that looked like lava. This looks like literal tectonic plates shifting on top of lava. So I wanted to go ahead and pull that theme into it, mainly because of the fact that, you know, Avaro and the Yokai skins, very happy, very poppy, but the Arcuta skin just really takes her on a completely different, um, different road. Like a lot of people were saying, like, she looks like a Xenomorph. Um, and I think she looks fucking badass. Legitimately, Avara looks like a huntress, like you could find her in the forest, like, Oh, she looks like she could murder some people. So, um, big, big fan of this one in this specific color coordination. There are some more, like, fanciful ones, kind of like I showed up last time, which was, like, some of the soft blues and pinks. But legitimately, I think this captures her well. Now, I do know that a lot of people kind of find some of it to be a little bit dirty and grungy. But I think that a lot of people are going to be into that. Like, there's, you know, there's a segment for the clean and the pretty, you know? There's like, oh, it's so cutie, cutesy and perfect. There's there's a segment of people for that, but there's also a segment of people for, like, this. That want to take it into the really, like, vicious air. Did I show you my colors? Did I show the colors? I'm going to run through these really fast because I'm doing a lot of talking. One of the things I you'll also notice, too, is that I use two different kinds of reds. And that's mainly because in the coloration, I don't want it to look super, super flat. I want there to have some um, distinctiveness between the two. So this one is a little bit more brownie and orangey. This one is a little bit more like the traditional, uh, kind of like a balanced red. Like it's got a little bit more blue to it. Also with the off-whites, I did want to kind of accentuate the fact that it was warm. So it went for a little bit of a warmer off-white. And of course, we went for something big and fiery towards the end. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take, mm, let's take the second Yokai skin out. And we'll also take this um, Arcuta skin out for our run. Unfortunately, because I don't, there's no like Avara Prime. Like I can't do like a separate customization for that one. So I'm just like, listen. <laughs> this is what you get. So let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. All right, so I know one of the big things that people get a, a little bit hung up about um, when it comes to picking up skins for stealth frames is mainly the fact that you're not going to be able to see them as much. And um, with Loki, you know, for me at least, I can pull out the uh, radiating disarm build and I can just use it like that and be like, well, I still look damn good, especially with those capes with a radiating disarm. When you get that spin, you're like, ooh. It looks so flashy. It looks so. It looks so delicious. <laughs> um, with the var, it's a little bit different because uh, I think you got to pull out. You got to pull out the right uh, ammunition at the right time to kind of make it so that it's not. It's not as painful, and you can still see her in all of her glorious sexiness. Now, of course, we do have an Oberon here who is uh, pulling a little bit of a, a renewal on us. So we are glowing. We are glowing quite green, which which goes with. The Theme. I think that maybe uh, I planned that perfectly. <laughs> maybe that went that that went exactly the way it's supposed to go. Listen, go to bed. Go to bed. Is my aim really that off? Um, but you know what I want to do? I actually want to go ahead and pull out uh, the the ultimate ability because I haven't actually used I haven't actually used Avara in like or at least Avara is like ultimate in a long, long time. So it's kind of nice. It's that's the thing that for me at least that a lot of the new visuals kind of refresh frames and make you really want to pick them up again and play them. And also, it's kind of very similar to like what happened with machetes recently. Is 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 the fact that you know with machetes sometimes you just you just needed something you just needed something along the lines of like a new stance to kind of make things a little bit more bearable. Because realistically, because realistically, the Nami Solo wasn't bad. You know, the Nami Solo wasn't bad before, it just had a really shitty stance. So what kind of ended up happening is because of the fact that there was a new stance that came out, we ended up picking it up. And the same thing goes for Avara. It's not like there was anything wrong with Avara before. 
But um, the thing is, we get a new stance. Or we got a new stance. We got a new skin. So, you know, we get all excited to play her, and we're like, oh yeah, I forgot how fucking, how much fun I had with Avara, especially when you're firing off, like, a million gajillion arrows at once. Um, and I think that's the refreshing thing that Fashion Frame can do for a lot of the frames in-game, because realistically, for, for a lot of people, when you spend a lot of time with the same frame, things can get a little bit boring, but you know when you got, like, when you got a really cool customization, you're like, oh, damn, damn, you look right, you look tight. It really makes you want to kind of like pick them up and say, "All right, let's 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 have another go." Uh, I could have sworn before, and I don't know. I don't know if maybe I'm just missing it, but I could have sworn that before Avar had a little marker that kind of like turned to tell you exactly like exactly the way that uh, her arrows her arrows would be launching. But um, I'm not seeing it now, <laughs> and we've lost all sense of customization. You know how hard I was saying, hey, listen, let's uh, let's not play stealth because we want to be able to see the customization. But now um, <laughs> we got we got a little bit of corruption on us, which is quite pretty, but at the same time it doesn't necessarily suit us. However, the floppy ears are still there, and she is still gosh darn adorable. And I mean that's that's the cool thing about skins too, is because of the fact that you can literally redefine redefine the way of a frame feels, right? You can literally take her from like this weird elemental fire creature into this dark, or uh, into this really bright, happy bunny creature, right? So I mean, I don't know. I think that's one of the be best things about um, the best things about like all of these extra skins. I don't know. You tell me what you think. <laughs> all right. Now, if I'm gonna be completely real with you, I have not actually taken this uh, variant of the skin out for a uh, out for run in public. So I'm kind of. I'm kind of curious to see what it's gonna look like actually in battle, but now- Oh my god, now seeing it here, she just looks even more insanely badass. I <laughs> am very- I'm very, very fond of this. This looks- this looks very good to me. I'm quite happy with this customization. I just- one of the things that I love, and I, I'm gonna probably try to do this with Oberon uh, Prime as well, is like, I, I love it when certain- because certain energy effects look really, really amazing. Um, on- it looks like legit fire, you know? Now, part of me is like really, really, really fond of that because it just looks like she's just. Look, I mean, her skirt, like all of that customization looks fucking so sick. Especially in motion like that. Oh, all of her. Oh, let's go ahead and let's make people sleep, please. I'm gonna die if people don't sleep. We've got some. Oh, we've got. We had an Obron in the last mission too, didn't we? Ooh, the range on these things are tiny. Oh, but thank, thank God for that proc. This <laughs> saved my butt. Um, that's the only- and this- this thing, though, does- definitely makes me sad, and I wish that, uh, maybe Syndicate Effects didn't necessarily do this, but now I've got, like, red gas coming off from me. I- oh my god, think of how sick that would be if that actually matched your Warframe, right? If that actually matched the energy color of your Warframe, and you did, like, a freaking red Warframe, I think that would look pretty- pretty- pretty freaking- pretty freaking badass. Let's go ahead and pull out the Artemis bow now. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. That feels even more epic. It's like she's launching fire arrows at her enemies. And it's it's something as small and as geeky as like, oh, she's got fire arrows now that really kind of, you know, it makes you feel good because it turns her from this cutesy little tree frog that we had earlier with the yokai skin into something completely different. And sometimes it's the feel. Because I know I like and I notice this, it's always in my comment sections. But there's a lot of people that just aren't necessarily fond of certain looks because they're like, no, that's too, it's too childish, you know, it's too fun. We want something more deep and more dark. And I think that's maybe where uh, DE kind of came with uh, Hera with, you know? They kind of like, all right, said, okay, so we've got Octavia. She's literally got fucking electronic beats jumping out of her, right? So let's, let, why, why do we make, why do we make a badass frame to kind of counteract that, right? To kind of... To kind of to kind of change it up a little bit, and you know what? That's always good for a game is to kind of keep things keep things moving, you know. Not always kind of like stand on your laurels and say, "All right, well, uh, this is the way that Warframe is gonna look for a little bit." Oh my god! Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so fun. The sad thing is I haven't picked up my Rock the Cer or uh, my Cernos Prime in quite a while. I need to I need to pull that out. This is definitely giving me those vibes. I'm like, oh, I remember when I loved you. I remember when I had you in my arms. 
Um, but even things like that, even kind of like the way that uh, a Warframe stands holding a certain weapon, like, oh my god, the rack, the, no, I keep on calling it the Rock to Serenos Prime, but the Serenos Prime looks pretty fucking epic on its own, and just kind of like having that on a frame oh, can really change up the feel too. I mean, a frame like running around holding a big old shotgun, is fun, but at the same time, you know, if they're holding a big old bow, or, you know what, I really like the stances with Severus Prime, there's something about it, or not Severus Prime, but Severus and Dex Severus and all of its, um, Severus friends, it's, there's something we, there's something really, really cool about it, like, when you sling it over your shoulder at certain stances, I'm like, man, it just gives this really cool feeling to a Warframe, but you know what I really like, and I don't know if you guys are gonna kind of, like, feel the same way, but I like, I'm really into kind of, like, the juxtaposition of certain things like I don't know about the rest of you but I love running around with like Mirage and a mallet because I don't know the mallet's just it's almost like the Harley Quinn effect you know it's it's almost kind of like this this really really cute little adorable this really cute adorable ooh, this this cute adorable little creature person and then all of a sudden you've got them wielding, like, a really super, super crazy weapon. That's almost kind of like what I think about Avara too. is, like, you, you, put her, you put her with a big old heavy sword and you go invisible because, um, one of the things, you know, you could run, or mm, you could still run it. It's still feasible. It's still, it's, still po it's still quite potent. Um, but if you ran gas and stealth, and, uh, you ran gas and stealth, you can actually deal a good chunk of damage to enemies, especially if, like, let's say maybe you're using some sort of armor shredding or if you've got a kitty to kind of, like, lower the amount of armor an enemy has. Like, ooh, hold on. <laughs> Did not plan on you popping up. Oh, come back here. Yeah, there you go. That was not me at all in any way, shape, or form. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, my, my drawstring. Thank god, thank god, you know what, and I'm gonna say this right now, and I know that this is, like, not what people want to hear right now, but thank god for the two Oberons that were in, that were in the fucking, the, I said fucking, that's right, you heard me say fucking, <laughs> I was trying to say freaking, and I was also, but fucking was coming out, so they merged and had a baby, that's, listen, that's what happened with the, with the kill kids thing, if you guys watched that video, that that's what it was. It wasn't me telling people that, you know, certain people were trying to kill kids. And I was not trying <laughs> And I was not trying to cheer cheer that on in any way, shape, or form, okay? Um, all I was saying is, legitimately, um, sometimes you blend words in together and you make a mistake. Alright? That's that's all that was. Um, but yeah, no, it's kind of like when you pair pair Warframes and uh, certain kinds of weapons up and have a really cool juxtaposition to the way that they're set on the frame, it can really change the feel of the frame too. Um, but I think what I was... Oh, that's what I was trying to go for. <laughs> I was trying to form... I was trying to find Ash Prime Blueprints. Um, but no, it's, it's kind of cool. Really wanted to say a big thumbs up to all of the Oberons keeping me alive <laughs> during these missions. Um, and that pretty much does it for, I guess, this episode because I'm going to bounce from here. Um, I want to say thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about the Yokai skin. Let me know how you feel about having two very different kinds of of skins like in the same release. I think that was really, really cool of them to take like a cutier skin and then a more like lava magma-ish demon-ish skin, right? Like, I think that was really, really smart of them to kind of give players the options. And that's really what Tenogen is about, right? Just giving players the options to really take their frames into the directions that they want. And that's the amazing thing about Tenogen artists is because we have a bunch of different artists with a bunch of different kind of like personality types, style types, like, you know, Faven likes his Grax, um, Hitsusan really likes the clean, clean lines and all of his triangles, um, Cheshire and Procedison love their pointy shit, like all of them have their definite, like, uh, their personality types when it comes to expressing themselves in Warframe models. Um, so let me know how you think about that, let me know which one I don't want to say which one you like better, but uh, let me know how you feel about the different themes available to the Warframes. Um, regardless, as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye